Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you step by step how to create a unique overlapping effect with background images. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so before we begin, let's go through what we need for this tutorial. So first of all, we need DV installed and activated and also we're going to be using a pre-made layout from the software marketing features page. So let's go ahead and create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. So I'm going to call this page unique overlapping effect. Click on use the DV builder and I'm going to go straight to the visual builder. Great. So what we need here is to go to our pre-made layout. So we're going to choose this middle option. And then we're going to search for the software marketing features layout page. So I'm going to select my features page and click on use this layout. Right. So before we can continue, what we need to do is to crop these icons so we can use them as background images. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to publish this page and then I'm going to drag these icons to my desktop. And in my case, I'm going to be using preview, but you can use any image editing software to resize these icons and edit them. Okay, so what you want to do is to drag the icon onto your desktop. So I have my icon now on my desktop. So because I'm using a Mac, I'll be using preview to edit my icon. So what I'm going to do here is to right click and open with preview. And then I'm just going to drag this to my screen so you can see what I'm working on. Okay, so that's the icon. And uh, this icon right here is this one, uh, which is under free update. So what we need to do is to cut this image into half. So I'm just going to draw an outline here. So this needs to be about 64 because this icon here is 128. So 64 is half. Okay, so now that I've um, se uh, selected my selection, I'm going to go ahead and save. Okay, so next, uh, now that we have the, the first half, we also need to do this, the other half. So I'm just going to do my selection again. Make sure this is set at 64. Like that. And then I'm going to come over here to cut. So now we have the other half. And then I'm going to go to file. Click on save. Okay, so now I'm going to save my other half. Okay, so now we need, to, uh, we need the bottom half of this icon. So I'm just going to set this until I have the right size. So it needs to be 64. Okay, great. Right, so what I need to do now is to save this. So I'm just going to click on File, Save, and now my icon is saved. So let's say you use different images in your design. You still need to go through this process of cropping them and making sure that you have these three images. Okay, so now it's time to add our gradients to our section. So I'm going to come over here, click on Enable Visual Builder. So the section that we need to work on is the section here, which has the icons. So I'm just going to click on my section settings, click on background, and uh, we need a gradient. So I'm going to click this plus button, add my first color. I'm just going to paste it in here. Now, if you want to use the exact colors as I'm using in this tutorial, I will leave a link in the comments box and... Um, you can go ahead and use these same values. Okay, now it's time to add our second color. So I'm just going to click here and paste my hexadecimal color in here like that. Now, uh, over here on the gra uh, gradient direction, this needs to be set at 90 degrees. So I'm just going to make sure I, just, I do the quick adjustment. Great. So pretty much that's all we need to do for the background. Now it's time to add our background images to the columns. So I'm just going to save this for now. So to create this overlapping effect, we need to add the full version of the image icon as a background image in each of the three columns for our three blurbs. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to come over here to my row settings, click on background. So for our column one background, we need to add our image. So I'm going to click this third tab, click the plus button. And the image that we need is going to be right here at the bottom and it's this one. So I'm going to select it, upload an image. Now, over here on the bottom, we need to make sure that our column one background image is set to actual size. The position needs to be top center and this image should not repeat. So I'm going to say no repeat. So now that it's all set, we can now copy and paste it to the other columns. Okay, so right now we have these background images, but we can't see them. But this is going to be resolved soon. So now it's time to save and then we're going to go into our blurb module. So I'm going to click here on my module settings, click on image and icon. But now we need to change our image. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this and add the image that we created earlier on. So I'm going to click on upload files, select files, 
So this image here is on my desktop. And in fact, I might as well upload all three of them because I am going to be using them. So I'm going to click upload. And the one I need to use is this one here, the bottom half. So I'm going to click it, click on it and click upload an image. Next, I'm going to come over here to the background and add a background color. So my color is going to be white. Now it's time to go to the design. So I'm going to click here on the design tab. I'm going to click on the borders. So over here, we just need to make sure we have no rounded corners and we don't have a border width. Right. So the next thing I need to do is to add a custom margin of 64 pixels. So I'm going to come over here to spacing and add 64 to the top. Right. So next I'm going to add my custom padding. So I'm going to come over here and add 8% to the bottom, 8% to the left and 8% to the right. Okay, so what we need to do next is to come over here to image and icon and make sure we re, uh, we uh, remove all the um, rounded corners. So I'm just going to add zero. And then over here on the image border width, I'm going to set this to zero because we don't need that in the way. So over here on the spacing, we need to make sure we add 64 pixels like that. So now we can see this overlapping effect. So if I come back over here, I mean, in fact, right now we're working with the blurb, but we also have this background image, which is giving us this effect. So what we need here is the box shadow. So I'm going to select it because as you can see, there's two types. There's the image box shadow. So if you click on this one here, it won't work. So you need to make sure you're choosing the right one, which is the box shadow. And now this effect is more realistic. So now that we have this effect, all you have to do to add it to the other icons is to just copy and paste all the styles. Now let's move on to our next style, which is creating overlapping image icons on the sides of text modules. So first of all, I'm going to save here. Then we're going to find this section, click on our section settings, background, and we need to add an image to the background. So I'm going to click this plus button and let's add our image. So the image we're going to use here is, um, of this icon right here, but of course you can use any um, icon. So I'm going to click upload an image and right now you can see it's massive. So what you need to do is to make sure that um, you go ahead and customize this. So for our background image size, we need to make sure that it's the actual size. So I'm going to come over here, click on actual size. So now you can see it is reduced in size and our background image position needs to be center. And right now it's center by default. So that's fine. And we also need to make sure that it is not repeating. So right now it's on no repeat. Now let's add a background image to column two. So I'm going to save this and then we're going to go into our row settings, click on background, and then we're going to add our image to column two. So I'm going to click this plus button, third tab, and we're going to add our image and it's going to be the same image as before. So I'm going to select it, upload an image and make sure that it is the actual size no repeat and this needs to be set at center left. Right. So the next thing we need to do is to customize our row settings. So I'm going to come over here to design sizing and uh, we need to add a custom width to this, but uh, it needs to be a percentage and crank this up to about a hundred percent. And on the custom gutter width, we are going to say yes. And we're going to reduce this to one. Now let's adjust the padding. So I'm going to come over here to spacing. So let's start off here with our 10% to the left and 10% to the right. Now we might as well add the sizes for the padding because otherwise this won't be in line. So I'm going to click this little icon here, click on tablet. And for the tablet, this needs to be set at 5%. And for the smartphone, this needs to be set at 0% both for the left and the right. Okay, so I'm going to switch back over here to my desktop. Now let's make adjustments to uh, column two. So with column two, our custom padding needs to be 64 pixels to the left and the right. So I'm going to activate my little chain so my value can be added on both sides. So I'm going to add 64. And this is going to be for our column two. And now let's add the value for the smartphone. So I'm going to come over here to this little icon, click on smartphone. So this time it's going to be 64 left and zero to the right. In fact, I think I made a mistake here on the desktop. So this needs to be uh, 64 for the left and right. 
Right, so we're done for now. So I'm going to go ahead and save. Right, so what we need to do next is to delete this image, which is below this text module. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete that. So now we need to shrink this image module. So I'm going to go into my module settings, click on design, sizing. So right now it's set to forceful width. Let's disable that. And for our width, I'm going to set this to about 75% and make sure it's aligned. So now we need to add a background color to our text module. So I'm just going to save this for now. And then over here on the text module, I'm going to click on the gear icon, click on background. So I want to add my color. Now we need to add our background image. So remember that half that we created earlier on. So, so I'm going to click this plus button to add my image. And it is this one right here, the right half. Upload an image. And then over here, we need to make sure that this is the actual size center left and this image should not be repeating so it's fine right now because it's set to no repeat so now we're going to go into our design and make some more changes so first of all we're going to go into the sizing and um, we're going to make sure that our width is 100 percent next we're going to go to spacing and we're going to add our padding so for the top and bottom this needs to be set at 15 percent and also 15% for the left and the right. So activate the chain, add my 15% and it's applied to both sides. So now we can see that our effect has taken place. Next, we're going to come over here to the box shadow and uh, select our box shadow. And now we can see the effect of the overlapping is really now showing over here. So I'm going to save this for now. And then we're going to test it and see if it looks great on a mobile device. So I'm going to scroll down and we can see it here. It looks beautiful. And then on the smartphone, again, that looks really, really nice. So go ahead and try it out. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be updated with new tutorials and live streams. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.